This next tune is one of the biggest jazz hits of all time. Uh, the Dave Brubeck Quartet recorded this in the early 60s. It's called Take Five. It was actually written by the saxophonist Paul Desmond. And one of the things about jazz is we try to get uh, students into playing the solos that uh, some of the old masters played. And we lucked out in this arrangement. We have the, the Paul Desmond solo from the original recording. And we're going to, we've been working on that. We're going to try to play that before we have uh, some of the guys play their own solos. And Larry is going to take a solo on this too. This is Take Five. Thank you. 
I found some charts in the library. The Kellogg uh, li Music Library is huge. Ed Santera spent a lot of time putting a lot of stuff in there, a lot of really good stuff. And I found these charts for a smaller group by a, written by a guy named Glenn Martin. That first one was called Mellow Moment. And this is one called Bluesin. And we're going to feature everybody in the band on this one. Bluesin. <laughs> Thank you. 
with Sandra Sinclair on baritone saxophone and the trombone department, Bob Schwartz, Patrick Cribbins, and Dennis Watson, and Larry Ogletree on drums. We call that, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. We call that training four. It's usually with the drummer, but you can trade fours with anybody. Go back and forth. It's kind of like the, the jazz version of telephone in a way. Here's one for you, uh, fan lows. This is I Made It Through the Rain. Thank you. 
And that was, of course, Night Train, written by Jimmy Forrest, who uh, lived in Grand Rapids for a long time. We've got a couple more Glenn Martin tunes for you. This one's called Catching Up. Autumn's Riff, 
that sounds suspiciously like uh, um, softly as in a morning sunrise.
Thank you. That was too close for comfort. Uh, we've got a little book of, of some arrangements by Dave Wolpe, who's done tons and tons of arrangements at all levels of uh, experience. And this is a nice little book that uh, works well with uh, the smaller group. This next one is another great standard. This is You Stepped Out of a Dream.
to Alexander Ragtime, Alexander's Ragtime Band. And uh, we just picked this one out. Uh, the band wanted to do it and have some fun with it. And you probably know what this is, so I won't introduce this.
hang on, Sloopy. Well, thanks very much for coming out, folks. We've got one more tune for you, and uh, it's been fun. It's uh, usually we have more folks, but uh, it's still been fun. It's it's always a good time. We've got some people that have been in, around for a long time, and. Uh, it's always good having new people, but it's good having that core too. And, and uh, Tim is going to be leaving. He's going to be moving to Marquette, so we're going to miss him. <laughs> He's been great. He's improved a lot and, and gotten his feet wet improvising and stuff, and uh, sounds really good. Sandy Sinclair has been in the band for a long time, and she's starting to play some solos too, standing up. She always, always had a winner, but I don't know. This, I, I guess I forced her to, so yeah, sometimes you, sometimes you have to. Um, Bob Schwartz has been in the band for a couple years now. He's a great player. It's great having him. Patrick Cribbins has been in the band now for a couple years. Are you, are you back next year, you think? Depends on my schedule. Okay. This is my first. This is my second semester. Oh, okay. You're a freshman. Yeah. Oh, I got you. All right. All right. There you go. And Dennis Watson, I've known for a long time too. It's really good having him around. He's a he's a great solid player. Good having him. And a lot of these folks play in the concert bands too. And I'm sure that the directors and the other members of the concert bands really uh, uh, like having them around. And uh, Larry Oakletree on drums, ladies and gentlemen. Usually, usually when I play with him, I'm just playing bass. I'm not playing bass in piano, which I'm not really, I don't really do that too much anyway, but I've been practicing that too. But uh, Larry's great to play with, uh, just just a great player, great time, and very supportive. And uh, if you ha if you didn't notice, he was reading all the dynamics and, and playing just uh, just right, it, it seems that he, to, to me up here anyway. So uh, we hope you enjoyed the concert. Thanks again for coming out. Oh, I'd also like to thank Dr. Gerald Blanchard for all his help and putting these things together, and Barbara Sudeikis and Ann Yerby over at the Office in Arts and Communications, and Jen Philp, who runs things here at Binda Theater. She's always been great to work with, too, so thanks a lot. And we've got one more. We're going to hear some, some of Larry, and uh, is it just Bob on this one? Just Tim. Oh, Tim's going to play on this one. So this is called Carnival del Sol. Thanks, and have a great night. <laughs>